We're doing it neat. On the rocks, cocktails. It's a brave new nosing method. Wow, that is juicy. <laughs> it totally sprayed. <laughs> Get the f out of here! <laughs> it just sprayed. <laughs> Bring on the flavor cloud for Apple Twe. Uh. It's not even time yet. What? He didn't. Clap. Oh! No! <laughs> I want to push you. I don't. It's wrong. <laughs> I feel bad. But at this height, I just want to go. <laughs> don't push me. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the flavor cloud. I am your cloud boy, Fancy Dan. Please. Flip a Glen coin to see who's going first in the game. New Glen coin design for the MBs and the Patreon. This is coming to you guys. Freaking sweet. You want uh, the mooch or the psalm? Uh, Mooch. It's an automatic win. Even if she doesn't win, she wins. Oh, it's the song. Damn! Contestants, please reveal the flavor club. Wh don't look. Watch down. your eyes. Don't look. Don't look. Because we're not looking. Fine. We can't see it. We don't know. We never know what the words are unless she cheats, which she totally. She's been trying to cheat all day. I would never. The Flavor Cloud is a visual representation of the flavors whiskey drinkers are collectively finding in Abelor 12. The two of you will compete to name the most frequently tasted flavors, and the bigger the word appears, means more people are tasting that specific flavor in their whiskey. Don't do... <laughs> it's a race to see you can hop it. This time, we're doing a speed round, ladies and gentlemen. Um, by the way, Daniel's not here, because he's got shit to do. So, uh, my flawless record shall be maintained by me defeating you. Flawless record. <laughs> I don't know about that. Flawless. My Did record is also flawless, because I've never lost. Hmm, or he played. never played. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you are confident, please lock in your flavors and send them to me. Okay. What's all, his name again? All three of them? All three of them. Okay. I mean, let's be honest, I, I'm going to win, so. <laughs> Hold on, before you say it, can I edit? No. No. <laughs> Remember though, you do have a veto. If either of you want to use one flavor to nix one right. the other person, right, right, right. you know, strike those points. Okay. Rex, your first flavor in this lineup was fruity, worth six points. No, that's why, but here's the thing though. Take the Y off. Um, just wait, the, no, just because... The, just take the Y off. No. Just take the Y off. No, he put a Y. No, it was a typo. He put a Y. No, it was a typo. He put a, you're He's, supposed to check yourself before you wreck yourself. She is correct. You have wrecked yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. Brianna, yeah. your first flavor that you sent me was fig worth eight points. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Still more than yours. Shut up. Rex, your second flavor that you sent me, a general malt. Yeah. Worth 46 points. See, not malty. It's, it's supposed to be fruit, malt, and then it's fine. It's okay, fine. mine, it's fine. Rex. Brianna, your second flavor that you sent me, fruit, <gasps> worth 97 points. Oh! <laughs> and we get a veto. Thank you. <laughs> oh, really? He's vetoing. Uh, okay. That's all right, a veto. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, what's your replacement flavor? Let's do Ardbeg. Ardbeg? Yeah. For Brianna, it's worth 102 oh! points. Oh, come on, man. Yeah! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Thank you, Colt of Ardbeg. Screw you guys so <laughs> much. The third and final flavor from Rex Williams is peach. Again, it was too granular, she's too, too narrow. <laughs> Worth a whopping three points. There was a peach in. Wow. Bringing his total, without a veto, to 55 points. There is a bit of peach in here, though. I know! <laughs> Brianna, your top flavor listed was honey. 
<laughs> oh, you did, honey? Why did I do it? Worth 108 points. Oh! You got smoked. Oh! <laughs> Bring on Brianna's, Brianna's total score to oh. 228 points. Yes. I'm just basking in this, this glory. I'm a winner. You're a loser. You suck. I rule. That doesn't rhyme. <laughs> hey, you want to see what the flavor cloud is? I do think you cheated, by the way. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I did not cheat. There's no oh, honor in look cheating. Oh, look at Whoa, yeah! <laughs> uh, so fruit, oh, which is vanilla. what I actually put, the autocorrect. Uh-uh, no. Wanted to do fruity, so I definitely should have won that. <laughs> you should have just said yourself. Well, I should have said, tastes <laughs> like me. Uh, sherry, yeah. Vanilla. Sherry. Vanilla's a big one, honey's a big one, Chocolates. of course. Chocolate. I wasn't getting the chocolate. Did you get the chocolate? I didn't, chocolate? I didn't on the nose, for okay. sure. Burnt bee ass. Burnt me <laughs> ass. There's butt honey in there somewhere too. There's butt honey? Butt honey! Yeah. Oh. My wisdom is rock hard right now. I guess it's the perfect opportunity <laughs> for us to consider this week's sponsor. Yes. She is rock hard. Mm. This episode brought to you by NordVPN. Thank you for sponsoring NordVPN. And with this money, we're going to be able to do some ridiculous things that have nothing to do with Nord, as long as I tell you a few key things that are actually really cool, like VPNs, they hide your IP address, and they encrypt your traffic, so you can do really cool things like go to these streaming services, Netflix and whatnot, and being able to access a lot of things that are gated off because you're in the wrong country. It opens up the door to a lot of really great content. Beyond that, right now, Nord is introducing their threat protection, which is a whole nother layer of security. You can make sure that you're not getting malware very quickly and easily, like a push of a button on your desktop. Intrusive ads are no longer an issue. And uh, tracking. Who likes to get tracked? And the threat detection suite doesn't have to work with the VPN. Even if you're not using the VPN, you still have access to all of those tools. If you want to try out Nord, you go to nordvpn.com slash whiskey tribe for a huge discount on a two-year plan and one month free now, I think this is an excellent time for us to use these resources from our sponsor to bring to life one of the flavor notes here. Let's choose, what do we got? Um, we got fruit. No. We got uh, honey. No. Oh. Oh, what is this? I must know what this flavor tastes like. Hey, Fancy Dan, you're the most impressive physical specimen that I've ever met in my life. Can you show me exercises to get my shorts sweaty? I can help you. It's gotta be getting sweaty, don't you know, Dan? I feel like you should be sweating right now, Dan. Guys! Guys! Are these sweaty enough? Oh my god! Sweatiest short I've ever seen. So we asked the Magnificent Bastards, how do you prefer to drink Abler 12? Neat, doing it 81%, no ice. On the rocks, with a bit of ice, it's 15% in a cocktail, 5%. This is definitely, predominantly, in a neat words high. <laughs> Most people are drinking it neat. You don't play that game. I still want to know. Abel around the rocks. Yeah. You want me to pour yours? Sure. Oh, look. Glug, 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 glug. You want me to pour yours for you? Give me a bit more than that. Okay. Blub, 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 blub. Oh, it's still nice and, uh, woo, fruity sweet. Yeah. That shows up. There is a, um, like a decaying leaves musty note that's a little bit stronger than I remember being on the neat pour. Okay. How far away are you from a neat pour? I already know the answer to that. A uh, minute and seconds. Yeah, yeah, you just did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Uh, I hope this sweetness maintains mm. on the taste. Oh no, that's mostly sweet with a little bit of a zing towards the back. It holds up. I like the hell out of that on the rocks. Mm -hmm. It's a little. Um, I don't like how it finished though. Yeah, I was gonna say it's a little tannic, metallic. At In the, the end. finish. Yeah. Eventually yeah. it gets there. It is. Mm. But leading up to that, it's really nice. 40%, so wow. for that being that low, to still hold up yeah. to rocks, that's pretty good. That is impressive, because it was sitting in here for like a couple of minutes mm -hmm. before we actually started uh, recording. But it's actually chilled at this point, it's cold. And not overly candied, mm -hmm. even with the watering down. It didn't just get pure, simple sweetness, mm -hmm. it's still got some classic notes. Two thirds of it holds up very nicely. Mm -hmm. Don't like how it landed yeah. on the finish. But yeah, it's, it's a very good candidate. I wouldn't have thought that. It's a very good candidate for an on the rocks pour. You wanna do a cocktail? Sure. You, get, you don't get to, though. I'm gonna make it. No, we're training Brianna. 
Oh, you're gonna make it. You wanna you wanna give her notes on how to do it? Uh, uh, you can't do that I either. Because at this point she knows more than you. Oh, okay. How about how about you make it and she tells you what you're doing wrong step by step? <laughs> I hate it make me laugh. Wow. You oh, suck! Man. You're terrible. You ready? Yep. Are uh, you ready? <laughs> Super easy. I'm not Sam. Whoa. Let's not overdo it. Okay. <laughs> Um, well, it should be two ounces. That was a little under. Oh, uh, okay. So. There you go. Yeah. Whoa. All right. <laughs> Settle down. <laughs> oh. Uh, just thinking out loud here, would you consider yourself good at making cocktails? Better than some. Are you looking at me? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. What do you think? You ever heard of the compliment sandwich? Surround all critique with a compliment sandwich. Oh, okay. Your beard is good. Oh, thanks. You're bad at making cocktails. Oh. Your mustache is okay. <laughs> Damn! That's how you do it. So she's slow today. Yeah, she's it's because I got kicked in the head by a horse. She. Yeah. More or less. <laughs> what's the co what's the cocktail? We're doing a whiskey highball. Okay. Mm. Oh, all right. As yes. made by. Well, you yeah. know. How do you do? Was it? Honestly, really bad. All right, highball. This looks very complicated. Mm -hmm. What's in the yeah. highball? Yeah. So what's in it? It's just the albalore. I'm not saying that right. Close enough. Albalore. You did get kicked in the head. <laughs> with okay. what was in here? With um, a dash of orange bitters. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. then topped off with club soda. Cool thing yes. is that if you're making it at mm -hmm. home, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you can sub out the club soda for ginger ale or ginger beer. Oh, add even more sweetness. Mm hmm. Mm. I like that. Yeah, that's really nice. Mm -hmm. The scotch flavors come through, but it's a little bit watery, yes. obviously. So there's a difference between putting a scotch on the rocks and then just they just get so diluted and watered mm -hmm. down that you're just getting a thin little wispy character of the scotch. Right. Something about the you know the carbonated water, the soda water, does fill in a lot of those gaps. Mm -hmm. You still get the sweetness, but kind of the bitterness of that soda water it fills it in nicely. Yeah. It's refreshing. It's, it's crisp. very refreshing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still wanting to taste whiskey. Yeah, yeah. But be and there's, uh, yeah, refreshed. <gasps> Something about that sweetness becomes less mm. fruity mm. than it is on the neat pour. Yeah. In this version, it becomes a little bit more of like that floral sweetness. Yeah, it doesn't get much simpler than this when it comes to cocktails. But Abelor stood up nicely. Yeah, I can nice. still recognize some things in mm -hmm. the Abelor 12 that I really enjoy. But it gives me like a fresh, crisp, bright, refreshing angle. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the orange bitters keep that like fruitiness just a little bit. Hello. Hello. You know what I like? like, 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 like. Highballs. You know what happens when nobody else drinks their highball? Finger gap. Finger gap. <laughs> <laughs> Don't judge me. Oh. All right, if you like that Abelor clap, I'm not ready for it yet. Hang on a second. All right, no. Wait for my cue. If you like Abelor 12 sherry cask scotch, uh, that hefty combination of Oloroso and Pedro, your next thing that you should try is Glendronic. Glendronic is about a 40 minute drive to the east of the Abelor Distillery. Now Glendronic is to Abelor that, that similar family, no! <laughs> Glendronic is to Abelor, it's the same like really heavily sherried malt that you get in that region of Scotland. Um, but instead of that uh, more direction of creamy almond note that you get in the Abelor, it's got all of those almonds but it also has more of an accent in the direction of plum and fig. And a little bit more mustiness, like fall leaves and vegetation. Mmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna say most people thought this was three out of five stars. Bam. There we go, 51% say it's three out of five stars. One star, 4% of the people think it's horrible. Two stars, 10% think it's mad. Three stars, 51%. Four stars think it's great at 30%, and five stars magnificent in every way at 5%. Okay, that, that's a, bye. Okay, top comment for the star rating. Looks like Tim Cook, Abelor 12 is excellent, but the Abelor Abenad is amazing, outstanding, pretty much perfect. I agree, it is an exceptional whiskey, the Abenad. Yeah, but the 12 is a good way to get your, yeah, get your foot in the door. So in the comments, what whiskey do you think we should do next? We're gonna be looking at all your comments. We're gonna be choosing five. 
and putting them in the YouTube community tab. So uh, in the community tab of this channel, you're gonna see like polls and voting and messages from us. In that tab, you can see what whiskey should be next. And I would not talk this slowly if it weren't for two highballs. They were good, good job. Thank you. You're welcome. So we got some kind of steam roller type thing rented today. I don't, I'm sure that's not what it's called, but it's here. So I wanna see who comes out on top between a steam roller type thing and a five gallon whiskey barrel. There's no reason. Just curious to see what happens. This is a spent barrel. I had Bud Light to see what happens, so nothing good. I think this is a fitting fate. I'm impressed. <laughs> Go away now. Bye.